Let's find out what today's budget means for business and founder and chairman of Cobra Beer, Lord Karen Billamoria, joins me. Thank you very much, uh, sir. From a business perspective, and I know you're involved at all levels of um, British society now, having founded Cobra then, I think it was back in the 80s, you guys watch budgets quite closely uh, as to the effect that it's going to have on your business. Do you think this budget looked after businesses today? Uh, this budget, I was just listening to what Bob Seeley was saying over there earlier on. I mean, you know, he's absolutely right that this country is, is phenomenal. We are still the sixth largest economy in the world. We're brilliant at so many things. And what is, what is amazing is we're brilliant in spite of everything that this government has done uh, to hamper growth and to hamper investment uh, and to hamper the recovery from the pandemic and from the start of the war in Ukraine and the supply chain shocks and the energy uh, pri prices rising and inflation. Uh, if you think about it, Corporation tax has gone up from 19% to 25%. That is one of the most foolish moves any government could have made because that is going to spoil not only businesses being able to invest, but it spoils us as a country attracting inward investment uh, from abroad. And what we desperately need is investment. We're what, one of the lowest levels of investment in this country. How can we make ourselves more attractive to investment? We put up taxes. And Keir Starmer is absolutely right. Whatever has, has been announced in this budget, we still have the highest tax burden since the Second World War, the highest bur tax burden in over 70 years. You can't grow an economy with high taxes. And of course, it's welcome that national insurance has been reduced by another 2p. Of course, it's welcome in my industry with Cobra Beer that beer duties have, have continued to stay the same. But let's have a look at it. Germany has beer duty 13 times lower than ours. We have one of the highest beer duties in Europe. Of course, fuel duties have been frozen and that's welcome, but we still have one of the highest petrol prices of any country anywhere in the world. So all this is, is still a country that has low productivity, has recession at the moment, low growth. Our debt level is at 100% of GDP. And this is an economy where a budget like this is meant to make a difference. It's not even going to shift the dial. I'm, I'm happy as former President CBI, the government listened to us and allowed full ex expensing. And that is just what's needed so that if companies invest, you can get a tax reduction straight away. And they now increase that to leases as well, which is very welcome. Childcare, anything to help people to work. We've got 9.25 million people of working age from the age of 16 to 64 who are not working. Mm -hmm. So if you can do anything to help people to work, that is also welcome. Non-DOM, to try and bring in 2.7 billion pounds from non-DOM at the moment. Do you know how much tax non-DOM pay in this country? They pay 8 billion pounds a year. What if they leave? What We will lose that eight billion pounds versus trying to get 2.7 billion pounds. And a lot of these people in London invest in this country, spend in this country. Where was the tourist tax? We've got a, we, tourists used to be able to reclaim 20% VAT of things that they bought in this country. That's been stopped to bring in another couple of billion pounds. We're losing over 20 billion pounds of spending. We're losing what they spend in restaurants and in hotels. We're losing what they buy, which they're now buying across the channel because they're not buying it over here. What a foolish move to try and bring in a small amount of money in the relative. What about apprenticeships? We need desperately to improve our skills. Was there any reform of the apprenticeship levy that needs to be reformed, needs to be far more flexible? What about business rates? Mm. We have one of the highest level of business rates in Europe. Where was the reform to business rates? These are all the things that business needs to be able to grow. This is, and, and what about the tax when, thresholds being frozen? When we everyone in this country is paying too high taxes, frozen. That's bringing in 40 billion pounds. People say, oh, you're reducing by two pence and two pence in the autumn. What about the tax thresholds that are frozen that are bringing in over 40 billion pounds? So I'm Lemoria. sorry, I think we need to look at this much more carefully. I hear your points uh, absolutely loud and clear. When we speak to businesses on this show, a lot, especially in the hospitality industry, they talk about reduction in VAT, re reduction in corporate tax rates as well. Um, look, just briefly, while I've got you, uh, I'd like to talk to you about the counter argument to that, which we heard from Bob Seeley this evening. You regularly hear from members of the Conservative government, which is that you will encourage growth in this country if you put money back into the pockets of working people. What do you make of that theory? Well, Bob Seeley said he wanted to get rid of national insurance. Where is he going to make up the, the tens of billions, the hundreds of billions that come in from national insurance? I, I don't know what he was talking about. Of course you want to reduce taxes. And, and that is what I'm talking about. But we've got the highest tax burden in 70 years. So tinkering by reducing two pence here and two pence there, whereas you, you increase taxes by freezing the tax thresholds for everyone, a low taxpayer, high taxpayer, 
you can't fool people. Mm. And, and that is the reality. Of course, you've got to reduce taxes. And, that, and I kept saying to Rishi Sunak when I was president of CBI, going back to within the pandemic, I said, do not put up taxes. Don't put up taxes. It will stifle growth, it will stifle the recovery. And what have they done? They've continued to keep putting up taxes overall. And we have the highest tax burden in 70 years. And Lord, that is Lord, not going to help any economy, let alone ours. Lord Karen Billamore, we really appreciate your input this evening. Thank you.